Hey folks, my name is Tracy with Scrappy's Rustics. If you're catching this on the replay, hashtag replay. If you're new, let us know that as well. And we have a new text alert system. The link is in the description. It's through Telegram, just click the link. If you don't have it, you'll have to download the app, which is free and it's easy, just step by step. Um, and all the text messages back and forth are free as well. Um, you can also find the link on our website at scrappiesrustics.com. It's in the menu area under text. Hey, Georgianne, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me this Saturday evening. I had the opportunity to come on, so I thought, what the heck, I might as well. I might as well. I've been dying to do this project. Um, kind of took a turn and another turn, and I don't know. We'll see. I think it'll be cute. It'll be simple, but cute. Um, last time I was on, comments still weren't working, so I'm hoping they are. I think some, they were working for some people and not others. So I hope I'm that some person and not the other. <laughs> hey, Dawn. Uh, feel free to share this video about if you're on replay. I'd appreciate it. It helps my page if you think it's worthy and somebody would really enjoy it. Hey, Denise, Nerverda. Uh, you're good, Georgian. Good to hear that. Good to hear that. Happy Saturday. Saturday. I'm going to try to come on tomorrow, y'all, but I am on call. This Sunday and one more Sunday after that so you just never know I hate to say yeah I'm gonna be on and then I can't hey Claudia welcome so um yeah I got this board this I showed you guys this when I got it a while back at hey Cindy um, at Hobby Lobby it was clearance however I will never buy one of these again because I like it now but it was a pain in the butt it had some like um, hey Terry it had some like you know goofy inspirational saying on it and um what is that i don't know what that is anyways it was kind of like raised paint and i thought oh well i'll just you know i'll just take it off of the baby wipe yeah no that didn't work so then i ordered fingernail polish remover because i don't own fingernail polish remover that didn't work all it did was like smear it um and i couldn't like do anything over it because it was raised you could actually feel it so <laughs> i ultimately ended up bringing it outside and sanded it down to almost a bare metal. Um, hey, Sharon, Jody, thank you guys so much for joining me. So I ended up painting, and, and I just painted it, not even knowing what I was gonna do with it. I just, I've had this color for a while and I think it's pretty and I wanted to use it. So this is what it ended up doing. So I used this chalk um, kill spray paint in the color blue juniper, blue juniper, pretty good stuff. But I did notice I missed a little around the edge edges, but it doesn't look too bad. Uh, hey, Nancy, Carol, uh, hey, my sweet friend Lisa with Brown Eyed Girls Crafting. It was, um, thank you, Lucille, for sharing. Hey, Beverly. So it was that color, which isn't bad. That color's not bad at all, but like I said, it had that cheesy saying on it, and I couldn't, I couldn't get it off. And you can see I missed a tiny, well, you probably, yeah, you can see a little bit right there, but it doesn't look bad. So I'm not going to worry about it. And I'll worry about how we're going to hang it up later because the hangers are over here and we're, we're going this way with it <laughs> we're going this way so we're going to use the cots walls hey colette oh i got two here oh surprise we're going to use the cots walls we already used the pig i know isn't it a great color it's a happy color um i just cut the lamb out or the sheep i cut the sheep I, someday i'd love to have a board big enough to do this whole um the pig part and the sheep part. I would love it because I think it's beautiful, but I just don't have a board nor a wall space that big. And I couldn't, there's no way I could ship something that large um, because that's, this is an eight sheet book. So that's four sheets um, per image. So that's, a, that's pretty big. So um, if you missed it, we did the pig a while back and now we're going to do the sheep and this is the Cotswold <laughs> IOD transfer. Um, they're a little tricky to cut out. The lamb was not as bad as the pig because you can see how much more open space there is. I keep saying lamb, it's a sheep, where the pig was really intertwined with all that stuff. But I definitely save all the scraps because we can use those at some point. And then the winter song. Y'all, this is the only paintable one left um, for IOD. Um, I've never used a paintable one, but it's kind of cool. I, li I like the black and white myself. I don't know that I'd paint it. I kind of... I don't know why I levitate towards the black and white, but I think it's really pretty. I have no idea what I'd use it for. I wouldn't use it as is intended, as a wreath. It's supposed to be a wreath. I don't think I would use it for that. For that reason. Hey, Jennifer. So there's that. I already cut the lamb. I chopped the lamb up. <laughs> chopped it up. Half and half. 
It doesn't go that way, though. Then look, they scalped the poor thing. Look. That's its head. That looks like an alligator, doesn't it? It looks like a gator popping his head up out of the water. That's what that looks like. Um, let me show you guys this stuff. I don't know if you watched um, Wednesday for What's Up Wednesdays. I'm going to use a transfer on the dresser. Oh, that you got to show me pics of that. That will be beautiful. It would be absolutely gorgeous on a... Um, on a dresser for sure. I just don't have anything that big. Um, I just have these still sitting here, but we got ooh, three, there's three new stencils, but I only have two here, but these are the new um, recycled. Um, look how cool that is and look at the definition. But the only reason I'm showing you this is because it's still blowing my mind and then the bushel basket, but check this out. So we've all used stencils, right? Well, Royce decided to stencil on decoupage paper um it just gave i don't i don't know why i never thought of this in my, in my life before but she decoupaged and she stenciled on decoupage paper and then cut it out cut it out so i was like well wait a minute these are exactly 12 by 12 right um size wise so i was like well scrapbook paper will work so i grabbed a piece of scrapbook paper and did the bushel basket i can't believe how cool it looks i mean it, it, to me it looks like a rusty metal uh, bucket now and then this one and I just used um, I used the color umber it's actually a fabric paint because I didn't have that color in like it's umber in a, in paint so I used the fabric paint it worked no problem in this one I wanted to try to see if I could make it look like patina like metal so I used this color scrapbook paper and then I did the stencil itself in this um, copper color so I just thought that was so cool we're gonna do something with not this one, but this stencil and maybe like the pumpkin stamp or something, maybe stack them up. I think that'll look, but I never in my life, and I don't know, maybe because we never really, you know, stencils I usually do are a saying or a truck or, but I guess even a truck, I never thought to cut them out like this and then decoupage this on. I always just thought stencil on your surface and you're kind of done. This, I feel like, I, I don't know. I just feel like I opened a a whole new I don't know what hey the crafting attic how are you so I don't I don't know I just feel like this is like wow and the other one is a cloche I don't have it here but the cloche there's there's five total there's a cloche these th two a snow globe and um, a bunch of little Christmas things I ordered the snow globe but I didn't get it but the snow globe and this one the cloche has a um it has a crown and a a bee skeleton face in the middle but you don't have to use that part but the snow globe and this one work with the cloche as far as this part right here being like the bottom if you had a bottom of your cloche like a plate to put it on so this part matches up with that the that and then the snow globe's bottom matches up with the cloche that sounds confusing but it really works <laughs> it really works but she's out out like I, I think I ordered, I just happened to see the text and I ordered right away and she sold out like super fast. So I've already had a couple of people ask me to send their people because I ended up with them. I know the basket, the bushel one's cool, but I can't get any more right now. So what we have is what we have, but I am on the alerts. Okay. So because this transfer is, um, across more than one piece, you get like this section and you have to piece them up. But let me show you, you have to cut off the excess, obviously. This isn't a very good example, but it's really the only example I have. But when you get pieces that are supposed to match together, see if I can hold it right. If you look right, well, it's not a very good example, but if you look right there, there's like an Audi, and then right there's like the Innie, like that's where it's supposed to go and same on the top. It usually has something that you can match it up because that gets confusing, especially when it's over. I think the pig was over four pieces. This one's only over three. So I'm gonna cut that excess off right now. And hey, Mary, how are you? Thank you guys for being here. I hope you're having an amazing weekend so far. If you're new to me, hello. <laughs> I, uh, I would love for you to become a new friend. Try me out. If you don't like me, you can dump me. It's cool. It's cool. Just try. Just try. I promise you uh, I won't use glitter and I promise you a 
smile and a good attitude. <laughs> I don't know if I'll finish my project, but well, I will finish my project if I'm not in a timed event. Hey, Mary, thank you for resting the scraps. All right, I don't want to cut this one uh, right here because it stops there. I'm gonna go around that, around that. So I, yeah, I cut this out ahead of time. This one was not nearly as bad as the pig was. Not that the pig was bad, but I actually had to concentrate because it was really hard to see what what went with what with the pig because it was so intertwined. Like I said, hey Kim, like I said, one day I hope to, uh, I hope to do the whole shebangy. All right, I'm gonna wait. We're gonna put his face on. We gotta put his alligator, <laughs> his alligator head on last. It really does look like a gator. Maybe I've been in Florida too long. Is not your notifications were off? Yeah, that seems to be the new normal, April. Thank you for checking, not only for me, but um, you guys just have to check whoever you follow. Make sure your notifications are on. Make sure you're still even following. You just got through folding book pages for a birdcage. I was happy to, ah, oh, Denise, that's cool. I've always wanted to do that. I've seen some really cool stuff. This one antique store, I guess it's like an antique store my husband and I go to. There's this one booth where the lady does book pages. She does all kinds of crazy stuff. I don't know how she does it. So I cut out some other stuff. This is rounded, so that's not gonna work too well. Um, but I figured if we cut it like into individual words, maybe we can run it down the side here. Um, I had to cut the L off because I don't know why. I think it was on the other page. The old woo, <laughs> wool. Oh, over here, wool. <laughs> so I cut that off and then I cut these letters off and then we're also going to um when we get this on we're going to hit it with the texture stamp because i don't want this to look like it's spray you know like i just spray painted it with blue juniper and we don't want it to look that new hey tina all right so i think over here I'm trying to see where i need to start with her can you guys see what i'm doing not really maybe I need to bring you down just a tiny bit i don't know I still can't see what i'm doing I can't see what I'm doing. All right, so something, the gnat in here. That, let's see. I mean, wool. Just want to see how big these words are. I think that should be good. I think that should be, I don't really need this parchment paper down. All right, and then her head. It's gonna be on the curve a little, but that's okay. All right, I think we're gonna go with that dust on it there's some nicks i didn't top coat this i should have but i didn't i had intentions to but it's been literally raining and raining and raining and raining i managed actually when i painted this i put it in a three-way box on a brick and it was raining it was the middle of the night and in between rains i ran out there and i sprayed it and then i picked it up and brought it back in the house when i could hear the rain coming it came out all right for for doing what i did <laughs> Okay, so that's where I want it. And I think it's straight. Okay, that's where we're going. I'm gonna do my little trick where I anchor it down with one hand and cut with the other since we are where we wanna be. And since I didn't top coat this, it's gonna scratch really easily, which I'm okay with. I did paint it. Oh, maybe I, no, I was thinking I painted it black first, but no, I didn't do, I did not. I painted it right this color. I think, I don't know if it's black under here or the green, I don't know. I don't remember now. I think I might have painted it black to, to cover up the word. No, I don't know. I don't remember. All right, so there it's stuck down. That way you don't have to pick it up and try to reposition it again and do all that. So we're gonna peel this back. Make sure there's no dust. This has been sitting on the floor in here for a minute. <laughs> it's got a little dust on it. I did dust it once, but for some reason it's dusting up again. Okay. So that's it. She's down. Hopefully it'll go. I mean, you just never know what transfers. Hey, Jackie, you never know. Sometimes they go easy. Sometimes not so much. You'll get a tool, plastic or um, plastic or wood. If you lose them, you can use like a tongue depressor, you know, something like that. So I like to give mine a once over. There's something right there. I 
just like to go over it once. Now remember all these little, these are a little more difficult, more intricate because all of these little tiny, hey Cherokee, you got your goodies? Oh, awesome. Oh, you're welcome, you're welcome. So all of these little things are individual. It's not one big blob. Like I'll show you the back of it. So see how they're all individual transfers? So you, you know, you can't just rip it. You literally got to rub over every single one because it's not one whole piece. If that makes sense. So give it a once over. Give it sexy legs here. Sexy legs. I feel some bumps and lumps. <laughs> and then I like to start a corner and work my way back. If for some reason that corner, it just ain't working, find another section. Sometimes you just got to go with what the transfer is telling you to do. And you got to be mindful that, you know, what you're pulling up is down. Sometimes the larger pieces are a little more challenging because it's a lot more area to work with. Um, but, okay, this is so far so good here. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. I didn't have to sweat too much there. Woo! Cherokee, I hope you're inspired and you're excited and it's like Christmas morning and you're going to get to your goodies and have a ball. Now go slow. I know this is not the most exciting thing to watch, but the results are pretty amazing. Um, go slow because if you pull this up and it didn't transfer down, it's going to be stuck to this clear sheet and you can just simply lay it right back down and rub on it and it'll be like nothing ever happened. So it is, it is a fairly slow process. It's not like you just rip the band-aid off. Don't rip the band-aid off because uh, then you'd be mad because you have a bunch of bald spots. And you'd be like, this doesn't look right, Trace. My sheep has a big bald spot on it. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, so these are all individual little pieces. That's why like real script or handwriting, little intricate stuff like that sometimes is kind of a pain. Just takes a little more effort. These are like a bunch of little pepper specks is what, what they seem like. Hey, Shelly, how are you? You guys, if you're YouTubers, I'm trying to build my YouTube page. If you could um, watch some videos over there. If you're a YouTuber, if you type in hashtag YouTube in the comments, it will message you my YouTube link in your private messenger. Pretty cool, huh? That's like the coolest feature ever. Like, I wish I knew that a long time ago. Um, we have a new, we're using Telegram now. You know what? My community app is still working. I text somebody on the side yesterday. Hey, uh, hey, Mary, to see if it was still working. And it is, but I'm afraid to use it because they told me it was going to be shut off the 15th. So I figured the 15th at midnight, it'd be shut off not shut off so I don't know so if you want to be part of messaging when I go live text the word uh, Sandy you have to do hashtag y-o-u t-u-b-e hashtag YouTube thank you Mary um, hashtag text <laughs> hashtag text will message you my telegram link what else we got Hashtag website will message you the website link and hashtag email will text you the website but a different page where you scroll down and you put in your email in the subscribe. So four things. All right, y'all, this went on pretty stinking good. I'll say that I get to the bottom. Let me pick up speed a little. This is where, if you're gonna mess it up, it's usually at the end when you get all excited and then you flick it off and it didn't come off. All right, we gotta get these sexy legs. Sexy legs. So that is a really nice feature to have those automated messages. It definitely helps in the information area or getting you the information you need correctly correctly but one little hoof well we've got a sheep butt all right very important step when you're done 
You need to burnish it. It's just a fancy word to make sure that your transfer is down. Some people use this or this or a paper towel. I like to use my fingers because I feel like I can feel it. I can feel it. So we got a sheep butt. We could leave it just like this <laughs> if you want. Look at the details in that. Pretty amazing. Looks like it's like hand drawn. So we could just leave it like this and hang it on the wall. <laughs> Be a conversation piece. Why do you have a sheep's hanging on your wall? Why? Why, lady? <laughs> Why? Uh, hey, Lisa, you finally caught me. Yes. Y'all y'all know Facebook's crazy. Shutting people's notifications off. Shutting their unfollowing. Doing all those things. Doing it for me, too. Stupid. There's no point for it. There's no reason for it. No reason. No reason. No reason. We're all nice people here. What are they trying to do? All right, now. I don't know if I can do my little fancy... Oh, wait. Maybe I can. But... Okay, we need to be straight. I need to peel... I know what I need to do. I need to cut... I need to cut a little bit of this off so I can see where we gotta... We gotta marry this bunch up. We gotta marry this bunch up. But you gotta be mindful because it's sticky. Sticky. So... Let's see if this works. Let's see. Some are easier to match up than others, but overall it's not so so bad. Thank you, Sherry. Ren, you're new to my page. Well, welcome, Ren. Y'all, welcome, Ren. Yay! Ren, I don't like glitter, but I'll dabble in a diamond dust every once in a while. Uh, and... I like to try new things. I like to try old things too. All right, so that needs to go right there. That needs to go. Oh, this was a good idea, you guys, I think. Okay, because now, once I get my steady eddy hand, I think it needs to go right there there but it's not down yet I didn't push I just want to make sure I'm straight this way which it appears I am I'm committing stuck down okay that worked great I would recommend doing just that what I just did there just cut off a little tiny bit so you can line it up because it's almost like they make they make it where that you can line them up and um <laughs> thanks for welcoming Ren and uh, yeah, okay, there we go. We got a sheepless head, <laughs> sheepless head, sheepless head. No, a headless sheep. <laughs> Look at a headless sheep, head, sheepless head. Oh, I said it backwards, All right? So I'm gonna give it a once over. You don't have to do this, just something I do. I don't know why. Just thinks it helps with the overall process. Now I got a bunch of little dimples and bumps in here that I can see, but it's okay. It's not gonna hurt anything. Probably should have dusted it a little bit better. Okay. And then find a corner and work your way back. Like I said, if the corner is just not laying down for you, just find another spot. Find another spot and see what it does. Hey, Teresa. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. You see my little clip from Lowe's, my little reel? Yo, those were like some of the prettiest pumpkins and gourds I've ever seen in my life. I wish I had this huge front porch because I could have spent like a thousand dollars in ugly pumpkins. <laughs> like they were so ugly, they were cool and gourds and I, I never seen anything like it. Lowe's is always good for having like you unique, nice home decor stuff. Um, I think they're a little bit more expensive, but they always seem to have different stuff. Hey, Denise. Oh, you're saying hi to Teresa. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get her face on because it looks like that's the way this wants me to go. So 
that's what we're gonna do. Got the sheep's face, well, mouth. You see, I'm just working my way back and forth, back and forth. If for some reason, all of a sudden it gets like, it's just not going, it's just not. Spin her around and just start from another area. I can't explain why that happens. It's probably something with your paint or your surface. It is suggested that you, um, uh, thank you, Claudia. I, it was cool. I took a little picture or a little, I, I forgot to post it. Um, or I didn't post it yet. Just real quick of their, um, their yard Halloween stuff. They got some really cool, like giant stuff. <laughs> giant. Um, I don't know what the heck I was saying. Uh, oh, they recommend that you do put a top coat on before doing a transfer. I don't always do that. There was a long time there where I was doing it and I was having a horrible time. Um, so I just stopped doing it altogether. It just depends for me what it is, but they do recommend you put a top coat down. So I would just make sure it's dry. Uh, I love this sheep, your mom's family. Oh, right. Oh, how cool is that, Valerie? I just love this look. Like, I love, like, the vintage animal look. I love the black and white. Maybe it's just because it's simple. I don't know. But I'm attracted to that look. So I got this sign originally from Hobby Lobby Clearance. It had some corny saying on it. I thought I was just going to, you know, take it off with baby wipes. Or Vicky, thank you so much for the stars. Thank you. Um, hey, Ari. Um, then I ordered nail polish remover because I don't own any of that. That didn't work. Nothing worked. And I couldn't paint over it or anything because the letters were raised and it had a border around it too. So I ended up taking it outside and taking the electrical sander to it. Um, and that was a mess, but it was the only way to do it. So then I was like, well, I might as well spray paint it now because it's the kind you'd see brush marks for sure. Um, for sure, for sure. Also, if you guys, <clears throat> when you get done here, if you haven't already, um, our good friend Ari on here made a, a beautiful, beautiful piece that I'm sure took her many hours. She made a beautiful Christmas piece out of the new baubles and Holly Lane molds, um, some of the chrome pentarts, and I'm sure lots of other techniques. You can just tell how much detail went into this piece. Um, it's a post on my page. I posted it not too long before I come on live tonight, but it's it's stunning. It's absolutely gorgeous. You gotta you gotta look at it. It's it's pretty impressive. It's pretty impressive. It's it's showroom quality. Uh, you just used uh, this. Sandra used this on a dresser just recently. That is awesome. I'd love to see a pic. Look at the details in that. Even without her face, she looks good. That's crazy, right? I love this color. Um, it, Patricia, isn't it amazing? So if you're late to the party, I spray painted this with blue juniper by uh, Kills. I believe this is Home Depot. Um, yeah, just absolutely stunning. You know that took some work because that thing is perfect. The colors, all that. All right, we're going to do the same thing to our alligator eyes. <laughs> this really looks like an alligator. I've been in Florida too long. Everything looks like an alligator. All right, um, I'm going to cut around as much as I can. This isn't a very big piece to work with, so. Oh, I should probably just peel the whole, yeah. I'm going to peel this whole thing off. I kind of want to see where we're going first. Dry fit it and then we'll stick fit it. So I just cut a little closer to what they got going on there. I'm assuming it's like that. The nose. Oh, it must lay down. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, that might work right there. Okay. Uh, three days and a lot. Yeah, I, I know you put your heart and soul into that one. It showed and it, it's gorgeous. Three days work. That's pretty reasonable because that thing is stunning. Just stunning. I mean, just casting the casting the molds alone is work. All right, I don't want to screw this up now. We made it this far. Uh, 
I'm shaking. Oh, sh shh. Everybody hold your breath. Oh, I had it. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, exhale. Exhale. Oh. Thank you, Mary. All right. Alligator eyes. There's a gnat in here. It's going to end up flying right up my nose. Flying right up my nose. Okay. Let's get it. Let's get it and work it back. Let's see how good. Let's see if we can get it up in one shot without even rubbing. Can it be done? Oh! No way. I'm getting lucky, y'all. Yeah, she did a really, really amazing. Um, she used the Ruby Pentart Chrome Effects. It's absolutely, it's just so pretty. It's, it's a pigment powder that when you mix it with clear wax onto a black surface, it, it gives like a chrome effect. So it kind of looks like, you know, the old um, Christmas bulbs that were chrome. There's our honey. Oh, she's so good. Looks so good on this color. I was gonna, I sh was thinking I should have done it white and made this cause it's metal. Made it like, a, um, you know, like an old, what's enamel, enamel painting. But I like this color. It's different. All right. So like I said, I got some words, the old, woo, <laughs> and the L and stow on the wold, stow on the wold, and then an address. So these are rounded, but I thought if we cut them into individual words, they might work. So let's try that. Let's try that. Let's get kind of close. Let's get kind of close. Oh, that, that will need the L. So, let's see. It's still kind of arched a little, but I'm okay with that. I will top coat this. I'm going to spray it. That was one reason I needed to go to Lowe's because I wanted the polyacrylic water base. I can't find it anywhere. And they won't deliver it to my house. So I had to go get it. I had to go get it. Thank you, Tina. I gotta pick up any scraps, y'all. They're like everywhere. They're everywhere, man. Um, oh, jeez. Okay, so something like that, maybe. And then we're gonna um, hit it with the crackle. Well, one of these stamps. Most likely that one, which I don't ever hardly use, but this one right here with all the little crackles, but kind of like haphazardly. So it looks, doesn't look so crispy. Crispy new. That does. I mean, I'll, I don't have to put all these on here. Yeah. Is this bigger? Is this longer? Yeah, that don't fit. That don't fit either. Neither of those fit. Maybe that needs to go up there. Or maybe vice versa. Or maybe not at all. I don't know. Decisions, decisions. It's wanting to, because the, the edges are curved. Curved. It's wanting to curve. <laughs> Do the curve. It's wanting to curve. Sorry. Saturday Night Disco. Um, I don't like that there. I like this just plain. something like that all right let's just do the the this part <laughs> this part here oh those is bad I love Home Depot Never. I see I I like the market on the street top uh, keep all the lettering together yeah I kind of I kind of like it that way too yeah I like it separate then we can do extra crackles up there um I like 
I like, I almost want, I don't want to say it's like Target and Walmart because it's not really, but um, it kind of is. I mean, Lowe's has some like really great stuff home decor wise where Target has some really great stuff home decor wise, but they don't have like stuff you need for the home, like, uh, you know, spray paint, and, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I just, I think they both have their benefits. Both have their benefits. Lowe's actually had a tiny, tiny, I mean tiny, <laughs> uh, craft section. They had like, um, a couple of things of acrylic paint, some awful gaudy metallic spray paints, um, and a glue gun. And then a couple of surfaces, but the surfaces were really expensive. I think this is totally crooked. Um, they were ten bucks. I say really expensive, but they were ten bucks a piece. But they weren't. They weren't all that. They weren't ten dollars worth. I have a stink bug. Oh, good. Welcome, stink bug. How are you tonight? Uh, I hope you're well. I hope you're well. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie. Um, two, I don't see. I keep saying the same. Hold the bus. Hold the bus. I don't know. We'll have to wait a minute. All right, so that's going to be crooked. I don't know how this wool's gonna this wool this wool really goes in an arch. In an arch. My comments stop again. <laughs> Did my comments stop? What happened? Alright, we're gonna go right there. Mm, I don't know what happened. Something's happening. Might have to do a swoosh swoosh. Swoosh swoosh. Oh. Yes. So, if, like I said, if you like to watch YouTube, I do have, especially if you're new to me, I have a lot of, um, not a lot, but I got a few videos, like, from the very beginning that I'm sure you've never watched. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Claudia. Um, that have been uploaded. They might enjoy. Um, all right, let's. So I need watch hours. I need, need 4,000 watch hours. Y'all, that's a lot of, that's a lot of watch hours. See how this sits? So, I don't know. I'm just going to put it on there the best I can. Hey, Judy from Indiana. How are you, my friend? How's Indy? Y'all, today when my husband and I were out, we stopped at our storage first stop. And it was like so crappy out. It's raining on one side of the road, whatever. But anyways, we get out of the car and it's drizzling, there's a rainbow, and there's like this cool breeze. Like I have not felt a cool breeze in months. Like it was misty and wet, but it was cool. Uh, wait, who's new? Megan, you're new? Well, welcome, Megan. I need to put this on after because, oh wait, let me cut it. Welcome, Megan. I'd love for you to become a new friend and follow. Hey, Nancy. Try me out. All I want to do is just take your mind off of that crazy world out there for a bit. Inspire you. And then my job's done. I don't know if I should kick that on the side or... I guess we're just going to go with... Uh, I got to kick... I should have cut this because look how much space there is right there. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Kim, it's your first time. Well, there's a lot of first timers here, y'all. Welcome. I appreciate your time, y'all, because um, Christy's new too. My goodness. Well, I'm honored that you're here because that's the one thing, y'all, we can't buy and we can't get back is time. And for you to be here spending it with me, I'm, I'm very thankful for that. So thank you. Thank you. Like I said, I hopefully. Uh, I could teach you something. You could teach me something. We can all just relax and have a good time and forget about this nutty world we live in just for a minute. 
until you move on to the next crafter. <laughs> and just, uh, just have fun. Just have fun. Uh, oh, you, you found it, Shonda? I told you. I told you. If there was an award, Ari would win it <laughs> for the baubles. Thank you guys for welcoming our new friends. You love what? Oh, Kim, thank you. Well, you know what? Everybody's not, you know, every everybody's not for you, you know? I'm the same way. I mean, either, either you click with somebody or you don't. Either you can listen to somebody's voice or you can't. I mean, there's no really in between. Really. There's really not. You can't. I don't know. I just, I feel like this type of stuff, it's kind of a natural, it's natural. Either, either it's there or it's not doesn't mean that they're a bad person or a bad creep. It's none of that. But either you jive or you don't. Well, these went, this went down really nice, you guys. I don't know what that is. An extra, I don't know what. Well, I'm just going to leave it there. It was stuck. It almost looks like one of these. Because like I said, when I cut this out, cut it out. <laughs> so this... This came out of the Cotswold. This is an eight page transfer sheet. Um, we did the pig, which he came out really great. Kind of similar to what we're doing here, but I had to cut him out. You can see how much stuff is around him. Like I said, one day I would love to do a big one of each. And then this one wasn't as bad to cut around, but you can see how much stuff there is. But as a whole, each side is four, four of these sheets. So, I mean, it's, it's huge. It, it's really huge. Now I won't, throw away any of these scraps because we'll use them but I mean you can see that's just that would be the quarter of of one of the signs you can see how enormous um but I've seen them done and they're oh they're so beautiful how do I share only like and comment Judy do you have there should be a share button down touch my nose maybe I don't know every Facebook's different so sometimes it's hard to say but if you touch my nose you should be able to like go right and left or in the middle and there should be a share I don't know I don't know <laughs> I don't know I appreciate you trying you know when people say oh I'm sorry I missed your live and you know we need support in every I can't get under here every form everything matters everything matters replay matters a heart matters a, a comment they all matter so don't ever apologize or missing a live or whatnot, because it all counts. It all counts. Whoop. Yay! I'm glad this went down. You know, I was gonna. I almost did a. I got a paint inlay. Uh, white left arrow. Marie, Marianne says usually share is there. <laughs> share is there. Click on the white curved arrow if you have one. Hi, Mary. Thank you, ladies, for helping her out. Um, oh, yeah, I guess it would be the arrow. I'm thinking of, I don't know. Hit button on bottom. Share. Thank you, guys. Um, what the heck was I just going to say? I have no idea. I will spray seal this, like I said. Um, I don't want to brush this because I think it's too big of an area. It's way too smooth. And uh, you're putting Facebook chat. Oh, oh no. Uh, surely have helped me in the <laughs> Oh, I'm reading two different comments. I'm sorry you're put in jail without asking permission of the people. What the heck? Sharing public? Claudia, what? You're putting Facebook jail for sharing publicly. That does not make any stinking sense. Y'all, you can't win. There's um, creators getting nailed left and right. There's obviously obviously a glitch because creatives are getting dinged left and right for music violations well they don't even have any music on their um playing on their stinking live <laughs> so stupid what do you do though there's nothing we can do it's a free platform so we just got to pull up our big girl panties and just deal with it that's really as much as it sucks that's really what it comes down to it's we have we have no say it's free. It's free. Your button's on the left. Yeah. It, it, who knows these days? I mean, who stinking knows? Okay, last one going down, y'all. 
hardest part is picking these things up. Picking them up. I love that trick. It's my go-to. Yeah. I'm gonna leave that there. I don't know what it is. It's a little dooficky. I think adding this crackle and some other will just age it right up perfectly and give it just what it needs. Thank you, Deanna, or Dina. Oh, it is Kills Chalk Spray Paint in the color Blue Juniper. Blue Juniper. Two coats is all it took, too. And it was this color. Not that it's that, that far off of a color, but I kind of had it down to, um, I wonder if, I can't remember if I painted this black first to cover up some lettering that was still there. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't, pronounced anymore. I don't know. I'm, I might have painted right over black, but it went on really nice. You know, some spray paints, not so much. So mad. I painted these, I painted a bunch of, spray painted a bunch of glass, and then I like to spray seal it. Well, I don't know what happened, but I spray sealed these three really nice canister set. And they got like this alligator skin on them. It did, the, the paint just like did something. Oh, so mad. Um, sometimes if you hit the hearts of mad faces pop up, I know a couple people have had that problem. That's terrible. You shouldn't even have the mad face. What's the point of that? That's just stupid. That's just asking for trouble. Um, so now I don't know why it's like the same clear coat, same stuff I use. Um, so now I'm going to have to salt wash them, which is okay, but I didn't plan on doing that much work to them, but now I don't have a choice. Nothing's ever easy, y'all. Oh, Alright, 32 is the last number here. Yay. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you for sprinkling the old wool. That looks cute. I think it's balanced nice. I can't believe the details in that thing. It's kind of, it's good, huh? I like it. Is it straight? No, they're straight. <laughs> the camera backwards is so confusing. All right, let's, uh, let's put some age on it and we'll be done. And then I will spray seal this. Um, and hope it doesn't go alligator skin on me. Thank you, Sherry. This is the vintage treasure. No, not vintage treasures. Vintage textures stamp. Um, it used to be where they had a chippy stamp, they had a crackle stamp, they had a crackle stamp. They had all these different stamps that are 12 by 12, and all the people are cutting them up and whatever. So they came out with one 12 by 12 stamp, four different styles of texturing, which is brilliant, right? So what I cut mine. So this is one of them, and these are IOD. This is vintage textures. Here's the other one. I think that's the one we're going to eat. I don't know. I don't know now. Uh, I guess just another kind of crackle. And then these all represent like chippy paint. They just come four different pieces. But what is nice about them, if you notice all of them, there's no sharp corners. So if I were to, um, you know, stamp them back to back to back there's no you know there's no straight lines basically so it'll look it'll look natural I think the most straight and it's not even really straight is this this one but then still it's still kind of jagged um, I'm thinking this one and not fully stamp it and not fully go over it but just kind of give it that crackle kind of appearance yeah we're gonna do that and I'm gonna do it start down here just to see, because if we don't like it, we can switch to um, a different one. And I'm just gonna use gray because I want it subtle. I want it subtle. I'm almost wondering if. Let me see what, let me just see what the blue ocean's deep. I think it's too blue. It's ocean's Oh, I don't want Ocean's Deep. I want 
China blue. China blue's the darker. This is more like a turquoise. Turquoisey. See it down in the corner there? It's very pretty. This one's more like a denim. But I don't think... I think, I think it's the wrong blue. Mm. Might not be bad. What to do? What to do? Uh, let me do the gray. <laughs> if I get brave, then I'll add a little blue in with the gray. How about that? Okay. Never stamp your stamp on your surface because you don't want to get your ink on your surface because then you'd be mad. Make sure it's gray. <laughs> it's gray. It's gray. And whenever you use the gray, it does not look like you're putting any ink on your stamp. And you'd be like stamping and stamping and stamping and nothing's there. Although that's weird. Huh. I've never seen it do that before. I have like this really dark line, right? See, now I think I didn't put it. <laughs> Hold on. Time out. We're going to see right here. Yeah, I guess I really. Huh. I don't know what happened. I guess I really didn't do a lot. All right. Whoa. It's weird that it's darker in some spots. I've never had that happen before. Usually you can't see the gray at all. Can you guys see those dark spots? Or am I tripping? Yeah, you can see them. I don't know. I don't know. All right. These are rounded edges, so I'm gonna pull it off the table a little so I can get like right here. Once you're down, you're down. Just kind of go with it. Oh, it's sliding. It's sliding. Oh, that's dark. Ooh, that's not good. It's too juicy. Maybe that's why it's dark. It's too juicy. Oh, man. I don't know what's going on here. It's too. I never had it too juicy. <laughs> there we go. That's more what I want. I'm gonna start over because something's weird. Oops. I'm gonna let it dry. I'm just not gonna smear it or anything, but look at that big juice mark. We want more like that. See that little bit? Juicy. The gray is deceiving, y'all. Let's see, I've never had it. I must have been fine and I went too hard. I don't know. I don't know. Something ain't right. Just sunk me right. I have to switch up the stamp so I can. Well, I'm not gonna be able to see on another stamp either. I don't know. I just don't know. Hi, Linda. I just don't know. All right, let's try this again. Just gonna. I'm gonna go over the whole thing instead of going bap 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 bap. Oh, so tenderly. Oh, so tender. Oh. Get over here. Try it again. You see what I'm doing? Mm. Just here and there, and then I'll go over with the other one. other stamp. Just here and there, not re-inking it. Want it more of like a background of, oh, shouldn't be leaning against the wet ink. Way to ruin your white t-shirt, Trace. Way to go. Right. So 
that's just subtle. Can you even see it? Not really. Yeah, a little bit right there. Right there. Barely see it. Can barely see it. Okay. That's still soaking wet there. Soaking wet. Blobby blobbed. Blobby blobbed. Alright, let me just get a little bit over here. A little bit over here. And then I'll get the other. other stamp and by not re-inking it you know it's making it even more uneven which is good because I don't know of any crackles that are all look the same <laughs> you know what I mean you know what I'm saying and you can go over these again it's not gonna matter Just looks kind of close to what his print looks like, so I don't want it too dramatic. I don't want it like that, like dramatic, like that. But maybe we can blend that in eventually. Blend it in. I gotta stay away from that, or I'm gonna smear it. Stay away, Trace. Stay away. Switch stamps. And I will clean that later. I'm going to use this one just because it's a little wider. Wider gaps. And the gray is nice because it's not so bam in your face. Um, it's always best to start out with the gray. And if it's not enough, then at least you can go up to the black where you can't really go backwards. You know what I mean? Do the opposite. <laughs> this one's kind of funky. This one needs like a bath. This one needs a bath. Not going to re ink this one either because again we want it subtle. Where'd my pad go? Oh, where'd my ink pad go? So, this is the vintage textures stamp IOD. 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 And I'm going right over the letters. Or the transfers, I should say. Not gonna hurt them. We're just trying to take the newness out of it. The noonie, 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 you know. Wasn't that a cartoon? Noonie, noonie, noonie. Oh, that was too hard. That was too hard. Shh. Okay. I think that's it. It's very subtle. Missed. How did you do the shape? Linda, it's a transfer. We transferred it on with a rub-on. It's a rub-on transfer. Yeah, I'll have to watch the beginning. But I literally rubbed it on. No lie. It's very subtle. Can you see? Just to take that newness out. It's nothing in your face bad. Just little cracks and stuff here. Just so it's not so... Oh, wow, you look so new. <laughs> you look like you just came off the press. I don't know how I'm going to hang it up yet because the hanger is, is supposed to go this way. It's supposed to hang this way. <laughs> wow, that's really cool. 
from the cam or from this angle, it looks really cool. I'll probably hit that big blob with a wet wipe when it dries, just to dull it down a little bit, so it's not so whammo in your face. Oh, I love it! I love it way much. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, Sherry. Um, it does look old, doesn't it? Uh, chestnut. Well, thank you. Well, thank you so much. Chestnut Junction. Um, yeah, it just takes, it's just subtle. It's such a, it's almost, ooh, that's what I should do too. I missed spray painting around the edges and it, you really can't tell, even though it's that color, it doesn't look that bad. Can you tell? Um, but normally, and I still might, so let me do it. I don't even know if it's gonna matter, but even just by taking your um, ink pad and doing around the edges, you really can't see. I mean, you can see it as you're doing it, but you really can't tell, but it just really softens. It just softens all the edges up. Yeah, you can see it a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I don't know if you can tell from the top that I just, well, because it's on an angle. See that little tiny bit I did? And that's where I started. It just just kind of brings it all home. It <laughs> pulls it all together. Uh, I have to watch the replay. Aw. Oh, thank you. Uh, we did the pig a while ago. We did it on a round board. I got out of the Goodwill. Not round, like oval. Um, and it was not oval. Somebody made the board, like made the entire board themselves. But I already do this. Um, but it came from the Goodwill. And um, I put some half beads on it. And no, it came out really nice. Came out really nice. Get back here. This is permanent ink. And um, it'll once it dries, it's it's good. It's good. So yeah, make sure you are using a permanent ink because if it's not permanent and you go to even after it's dry, um, it'll it'll smear. A lot of times water will reactivate it. So like IOD ink is Indian ink. So it's permanent. Um, the background I got on clearance from Hobby Lobby, it had some goofy saying on it. I, I tried to take it off. It was raised paint, um, but I couldn't. I en ended up taking it outside and sanding it with a hand sander, like pretty much down to the metal was the only way I could get rid of it because it was too raised to do anything over it. And then I spray painted it with um, blue juniper. <laughs> uh, yeah, and this is an IOD transfer. It's the Cotswolds. Cotswolds, it's an eight sheet. And here's the pig we did. Right there, we did that pig. Very similar to what we did here. But So it's a huge transfer. I only just cut the, I mean, you can see right there, they did it on a dresser. One day I'd love to do these. I mean, because one picture is four of these sheets. So that's a lot. Um, so hopefully one day I can do the whole piece. <laughs> Uh, hello, John. How are you? All right, guys. I'm going to try my best to be on tomorrow, but like I said, I am on call, so who knows? Who knows? And I think I'm on Craft Around the Clock on Monday. I don't know. But I'll see you guys when I see you. Have an amazing night. Thank you so much for your time, and I'll see you guys soon.